Alcohol sales have surged during the COVID-19 pandemic, and so is the concern for substance abuse. Ten on your side, Stephanie Harris spoke with a local expert today about help that's available, Steph. Yeah, Anita, with all the uncertainty, job loss, family stress, and isolation, it's not a surprise that we've seen a spike in the number of people drinking. Experts are especially concerned about relapse and recovering addicts. Community support groups like Alcoholics Anonymous have closed their doors, but there is still help and hope out there. Spirits are spilling off store shelves. Virginia's ABC stores report booze buying went up 59% across the Commonwealth the week the governor issued the stay at home order. Northern Virginia saw the steepest spike at 65%. Tidewater the lowest, but still a 48% jump. Experts fear many are drowning their current COVID emotions in alcohol. Realizing this is four weeks in, and uh, you know, people are still adapting to life in a different in a different lane. So uh, I think in the future we'll probably see more people. Joseph Slovich, executive director of Chesapeake Integrated Behavioral Health Care, isn't seeing more people seeking services yet, but Tidewater Alcoholics Anonymous is. I'm told they're averaging about seven new callers a day. So how do you know if you have a problem? Glenda O'Neill, a licensed clinical social worker with Centera, says ask yourself these questions. Are you neglecting the important things like your children, hygiene, work, or chores? Are you avoiding calls from family and friends? Have two drinks a day turned into four? If so, consider reaching out for help. AA and Centera's outpatient program are now meeting virtually online. In Chesapeake, they're also helping those who don't have access to technology. If we really have to see somebody face to face, uh, we'll, we'll ask people to come to the parking lot and we'll provide a tablet with them. Uh, to do a video conferencing in our parking lot. O'Neill's advice for anyone struggling, take time to breathe. Get adequate rest, nutrition, and exercise. Avoid mindless activities like binge-watching TV. Remember, everything in moderation. Now, alcohol sales have gone down since that initial boom during the first week of the stay-at-home order. However, they are still up over last year. I have all that information along with resources for you to get help on wavy.com. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.